And as you mentioned, today is November 1st, which means the holidays are upon us. You may be looking for some new ways to spruce up your home for the festivities. Well, Julie Collins joins us live in Waukesha this morning at a holiday open house to show us how. Good morning, you guys. So you've heard of the poinsettia plant, right? Huh? Yes, we have. Yes. Of course. Yes, it's one of the traditional Christmas plants. And we are in here in the greenhouse here because we're going to learn all about the poinsettia plant. We've got Tom, who has an official title, but I like to call him the poinsettia man because you know everything there needs to know about Good poinsettias. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So um, talk to us about kind of, they actually have to be planted early, right? You, you yes. can't just kind of pop up for Christmas time. Nope. There's a science um, behind it. Kind the of. larger, larger sizes go in the first part of August. Wow. Um, and as you go through the different sizes uh, down to those smaller ones, they go in the first part of September. Wow, okay, and then that's when you plant them and then they grow into these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Uh, it's a little more than that, but <laughs> yeah, you, you sure. plant them and uh, you have to fertilize them and uh, you know, care for them. You have to pinch them to make the flower, uh, flowers actually come out on the stems. Wow. Um, what, what could you tell somebody at home that's, that, that maybe bought one and wants it to be just beautiful for Christmas time in um, a couple, in two months here? The, uh, the number one thing that we find uh, as far as a problem with poinsettias would be uh, people overwatering them. Mm. Um, you want to stick your poinsettia towards a bright window. Um, when, you, when you purchase a poinsettia, um, you want to buy one that's, that's got a little bit of um, color to change on it yet. It doesn't have to be wide open. Okay. Um, certainly the warmer you keep the poinsettia, the quicker it's going to develop. So if you have a little cooler spot, uh, anywhere from 65 to 68 would be perfect. Okay, all right. And but you've got a couple here you want to point out to us, right? There's some pretty, yeah. what about this, that multi-color, or yeah, what about this, this kind of a burgundy, that's this is, pretty. This is actually one of the, the newer varieties that's been out for about five years. This is, a, this is called Cortez Burgundy. Okay. Um, one of the later varieties to change color. Um, but <clears throat> you give it about another three weeks, this will just be a massive burgundy, beautiful deep color. Wow, nice. Um, we do some different combinations. This is just a classic red and white combo. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then they get even bigger as you go down. Don't they, you've got some really They're big They're gonna ones get down bigger. There. Um, this is a, a four stem red that we grow. Oh my gosh. Um, they, and how long does something like that take to grow? Um, this one in the first week of August. Wow. So, um, wow. like I say, it's... It's pretty and it's, good. It's ready for, for a beautiful Christmas pretty tablescape. Good, or pretty good sized plant. Awesome. That's um, beautiful. Well, so many beautiful. What's this one? This is marble. Marble. You can see where the centers are just setting up on it. Awesome. Beautiful. So. Well, you can find all of these poinsettias here at Waukesha Floral and Greenhouse. Tom is working very hard to make sure that they're all ready for Christmas time. So, um, and if you want to learn more about them, come on down to the Oh What Fun event. It all, it actually started at 8 a.m. There's people already outside enjoying it. So come on down and join us. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks a lot.